Good morning, friends. It's Nancy, and it's Sunday, so we're having we're having a little self care Sunday. Um, I'm back to work in my abandoned house journal and going through the box of cast offs that neither that are either waiting for love or need to be tossed. <laughs> So this is a cover that I made with um, it's a window envelope, I think, or it might have been a box. Like, yeah, I think it's a box. Maybe it was like pa a pasta box or something. Anyway, uh, a lot of went work went into this, and I'm not using it, so I'm going to cut this up. going to do a little bit of gentle crafting today. No big uh, expectations. I'm wondering if I can I'm wondering if I can use this for something. it is cardboard. Just do seven eighths, just to make it equal on either side of the window. Turn this into like a side tuck. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do with that. It looks so nice on this this green here. Let me just see what else I got. Saw that in there. I don't know what that was about. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to go back to that green page. Well, this green page might be nice too. And if I bring it as low, I can see the little design there. Oh, that's even better. Okay. Um, I guess we need a little ink. Yeah, it'll be the bottom I'm cutting off, right? I remember 
making this. Um, these are papers from a paper pad I got at, I want to say Hobby Lobby several years ago. I think you can actually still get it. And I tea dyed it because it's it's uh, one sided paper. And it all coordinates very nicely. Date on my black eye. Hmm. So I woke up this morning and it is swollen shut. Oop, just dropped that on the floor. So that's annoying. I ain't the wrong side. It's hard to tell when you can't see. <laughs> oh, I gotta remember to put my ink dauber on this side because I keep knocking it off the table and it goes right in the garbage. So I have to keep digging in the garbage. out of my glue all night so we'll see how that goes Looks good to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, now. I thought I would use these as tags or cards or something. Here I have some photos. These are all, this is from a book about dogs, I guess. So just a plain piece of 
paper. Keep that. Um, I like that one. I'm wondering now if I should do it a little narrower to sort of, um, you know, um, put more emphasis on the, on the little girl there. Let me cut it out and we'll, we'll look at it first. thinking like like that okay this is one of those situations when I need a little glow Using some antique linen. Okay, now I'm going to go in with a little bit of. I guess brush corduroy. Just at the very edge. dark at the edge, 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 edge. I like it a lot. I'm going to go this way because the more there's more blue ticking showing, and I use blue ticking in this um, project.
gotta go just a little taller. Okay, what can I use for sort of a tab? Okay, I like that. Why not? See how I carefully look to see <laughs> if it was any good, yes, still. Um. All right, now do I have a little piece of blue and white ticking I can use as a, a thing? You know, a thing. Oh, I know I have ticking somewhere. Okay. So I didn't find my ticking. I can picture the box that it's in. I don't know where the box is. Um, yeah. <laughs> Things are still kind of crazy here. But I found this. Uh, this I cut off a piece of um, snippet. That I had made. I thought, well, I could either do this without that red thread, or I also liked this teeny tiny little crocheted motif. It kind of goes with that swoop in the lace, and then a little button. I'm going to need to sew that down. Just 
just going to grab some regular sewing thread. I still need some brown. I'm using two different colors of brown thread. <laughs> one in the bobbin, one in the, the top thread. And uh, they don't match, but that's okay. It's working. It's working for now. Um, wow, considering I can't see, that went pretty slick. But what I did find that I really liked, I found these um, hexagons and they're stitched to, like this one's stitched to some sort of pattern maybe. I saw one was stitched to newspaper. Maybe, like a newsprint or book page. And I thought, ooh, those kind of look fun to attach into the, the journal. These are old fabrics too. These aren't reproduction. I mean, somebody basted these on. They, and I paid 50 cents for them. Right? Okay, button. got a little chip in it which all makes me love it all the more usually I would do a four hole button with a cross stitch but I'm doing it the traditional traditional tune too difficulty is increased because I have no depth perception <laughs> oh my gosh Okay. Get my fab tack out. I need a little squirt more. What do we think? Is that super cute or what? I'm just going to put these aside. And... Bring this one back out. It's one of the, probably something else I can use. Another one of those dog pictures, or no, too small. bit. I do have some pictures in here, but not in that pile. I do have her. She's a long tall. This could actually be used as a writing space.
What do you think? Um, before I get too much further with this, I'm going to just put a piece of blank paper. Not quite it. I didn't quite fold it where I wanted to. Okay. This is from a, an old book about uh, architecture, I think, or engineering. Um, not a hundred percent sure because it's in Greek. Okay, there I have a tag. Where's my book? <laughs> Is it under here somewhere? <laughs> Honestly. Let's see if I can find a pocket to put that in. Maybe I don't have a pocket. Maybe I don't. What if I stick it in there? Works for me. Okay. How are we doing for time? Oh, goodness. We've got lots of time. Well, let me clear the decks here, and uh, we'll, we'll get back to work. Hi, guys. I'm. It's much later. <laughs> I went out for brunch with Doug. Um... Uh, we went and uh, picked up a couple groceries, and I had a nap. It was great. <laughs> so I pulled this thing out. It's a an envelope from 1928. You can sort of see the name, Mr. Maurice McBride, 635. 9th Avenue, San Francisco. But there's a recipe written on it. And it's got something grungy and and it's really raggedy. And I want to keep it. So this is a page out of that architecture book, the Greek architect architecture book I was talking about. So I'm going to sort of stabilize this by gluing it down on this page. 
so I'm going to take my time because it is kind of uh, at risk. And I don't think that book paper is too terribly old. It might be 80, or I was going to say 50s. So this, um, this part of the envelope was glued down to the front. So I had to carefully ease that apart. Doug's having a call with his mom and they both think that they need to yell at each other like they're completely deaf or something like they're ordering something from McDonald's through the drive through <laughs> it's so bizarre uh, they're so adorable at the same time Get back there, you. better. So this was a recipe for Spanish cream. It involved gelatin. It's kind of hard to tear these edges when they're round. Rounded.
Yeah. is just a little too straight for me. This is just a pair of uh, reverse tweezers. Just because it's kind of hard to grip these little pieces. Alright. So I'm going to ink the inside a little bit. So these are the different kinds of columns. out this. Oh, I didn't tear it out. I grabbed it out of a bag of kitchen-y recipe kind of things that I have, and I wondered oh, maybe I would cover the columns. I also got this uh, piece of... I think this was from a game.
1956. So I think I will, I'm going to glue this here, and then I'm going to glue, no, I'm going to glue this here, and then I'm going to glue the recipe, no. What if I put that there and the recipe there? Good enough. All right. and flat. This is another piece. It's brown one side of bread in butter. Put large oyster on the untoasted side. Cover with American cheese. Broil. I'm going to put it in. Please don't invite me to your house for this. So, um, some journaling can happen here, some journaling can, can, can happen here. I think what I'm going to do with this is put it in the um, pocket, the apron pocket. Right there. That's fun. Now, if I can grab that glue stick, the errant glue stick. Uh, okay. This is just about done, I think. There's a few places that needs 
a little something but it's um, largely done so I'm going to set this aside and just sort of work haphazardly <laughs> at some uh, maybe just some tags or something So I got some largely blank pages here. And I think what I'm going to do is maybe assemble some collage tags. I mean, I'm starting out as tags, but they could get cut down to various things. So this is part of a letter. Oops, dug in a little too deep there. There's a lot of these papers that are old and wrinkled and looking a little like shredded wheat, but I just, like this one's from 1920 something. How can I get rid of it? has a list of it says from be, from B bedroom
just going to take that top off. I'm not going to use the list of stuff from the bedroom. So it's got some little holes. So I'm going to rustle through here, see what else I got. This one says, Collector of Internal Re Revenue, Syracuse, New York. I'm going to add that. Or should I do it this way? Maybe I'll do it that way so it overhangs just a smidgeroon. hanging just like a half a millimeter over the edge. Okay, so that's nice and plain for writing on. I'm gonna cut that in half. No, I'm going to finish these first. I love this. It says discarded on it. So I'm going to put these on next. kind of a diary. Pittsburgh Orchestra and Melba at Convention Hall. I went to Trimmers, but Hazel, Nina, and Pearl were away, so I could not give a lesson. So I want to... I went to Pine Hill and called on Ida and Mrs. Summers and Mrs. Rappin, Mrs. 
Mrs. S is sick a bed. I left at 5.30 p.m. on North Upper, I have no idea, and walked home from the Ellicott Road. Eplicott? Ellicott? And reached home at 6.30 p.m. I got off at the end of the line but could not cross the road for it being so muddy. So walked back to Sheldon Ave and then down the cinder path to Central. Ate supper, gave Gordon H a music lesson and started to go to church to help untrim the ec the Christmas tree, but met Mrs. Hannah Mocker and Ida, somebody, and they said the work was done, so I came home and went to bed. That's about as exciting as my life gets. So this was somebody's little pocket notebook. I think it was a gentleman uh, t who taught lessons. He had um, a list of his students and their marks. And the date of his diary was the 1870s, as I recall. Um, I think I'm going to tear off some of that and been dying to use this. <laughs> Maybe not yet. Not yet. Too big. Or should I go that way? I will go that way.
still on the fence about whether I'm going to go to work this week or not. I'm scarier than anything and I don't want to, with my face, <laughs> I don't want to trigger anybody. Um, maybe I'll go Monday morning, in the morning, take a look and see. I don't think I have any appointments booked right now. until I think Wednesday, Thursday, Friday I have appointments. Something here. A nice postage stamp maybe. That'll work as well. You know what? Um, we've gone a good half hour. I haven't got anything done. But um, I will finish what I'm doing here. And I will share a picture on Instagram. Have a terrific rest of your Sunday. I know I will. I've uh, got a roast in the oven, and it's going to be a beautiful rest of my weekend. Very, very calm, very relaxing, and I'm going to do some really relaxing crafting. You take care. We'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.